Hello. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, well, thank you all for uh, joining us today. Um, I'm Robert Toomey. I'm Erin Glass. Um, and, and we are the co-organizers of um, the Culture Data Symposium. And welcome to, to day one of the symposium. Um, before, before we introduce the symposium, kind of our plans for today and tomorrow, um, we'd like to um, invite Professor Rajesh Gupta up to make some remarks um, about the Hali Jolu Data Science Institute. Um, Professor Gupta is the founding director of the data, Hali Jolu Data Science Institute and a distinguished professor and Qualcomm Endowed Chair in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Please join me in welcoming Professor Gupta. Thank you, Robert. And thank you, Erin, for pulling together uh, what seems to be a heartwarming uh, event. Um, let me say a few words about the thoughts behind Haliju Alo Data Science Institute uh, and what we are doing here. Um, I'm going to draw an analogy. I was trained as an engineer, so I'm going to start there. Um, some of you may know the history of engineering. It goes back a little over 200 years ago uh, and rooted in polytechnic legacy, mostly in France, he called polytechnic during the Napoleon days. And the thought was to build things, materials, in those days it's steel and in steam engine, that would perform functions. And the talent that was needed was to be trained in a specific way. We didn't think of the talent, of engineering talent, as applied science, or no amount of scientific training would give you engineering talent. You had to do ground up. And that polytechnic legacy led to nearly 200 years of, of talent training, where a very specific type of talent came out. First thing, the moment they graduate, they were in production environments. They were building bridges, they were building X, Y, Z, and so on. They were practicing what was taught. So the entire training was based on, on, on making sure that the talent understood how to do things, how to make it better. Can we make it stronger? Can we make it lighter? Can we make it less power? The question was not why. The, the, the question was always how and how much. That talent drove the engine of economic progress, especially in this country, and we renamed Polytechnic to Engineering. And now we come today where the same engineering talent is often asked a question for which, before an answer can be given, a, another question must be asked. Should I do this? If I am the insurance adjuster, or if I am the IT systems designer, and I can detect the, the risk profile and predict risk profile, should I do that as an organization, as a person? So how do you now take this talent and, and make them orient towards asking the question, why? This is not the first time it has happened in this country. It actually happened after the Civil War. And majority of the liberal colleges were built after the Civil War with the thought that our talent for tomorrow must know enough history to understand why we got to in the, into this war and why we should never get into it. That is where liberal arts was born. But over time, we became more materialistic until today. And now we come to a question, how do we build a talent that can ask intelligent questions to understand what the aspirational goals are. So when we train in any degree program today, we normally ask if you take a course, if you take a degree, we ask what is the knowledge and what is the skill? How much we teach? The world today demands a third dimension and that dimension is awareness. The awareness of the limitations of what can be done, what should be done, what cannot be done, what has not been done, what could not be done, what should not be done. 
And that is not a one blue pill you can give in one course in ethics. So this is the challenge that Data Science Institute takes on. Uh, and I just give example of engineering talent. I could have started the same conversation with you with medical professional, and we talk about bioethics. To me, I'm not trained in arts and humanities, but I'll tell you the way I look at the world. Culture is an encoding of our aspirations, of our expectations of us, of you, of the society of which we are part of. Decoding that expectation, decoding that aspirations is becoming harder and harder, especially since the literary traditions are dying. I don't know how many journalists write those. And so where do you get the sense of what the society wants, what we want, what we want of our expectations? That's where the data science comes in. That decoding, sometimes literally decoding and sometimes understanding, extracting knowledge. And so with that, that encoding we want to make sure is free of biases. Our literature is filled with them. Is filled is free of stereotypes uh, of of expectations that actually truly reflect what the population wants. And so, um, when we thought of HDSI, which is what we call it, but it's Hali Juolu Data Science. And if you see it written, just remember two rules: the first C is a G, and the second G does not exist. And then you slur, and you will get it right. And so, so with the Holy Jewelon Institute, we sought out talent to produce the next generation talent that will have the three axes of, of, of knowledge, skills, and awareness throughout all our programs. I'm so happy to see Molly Roberts engaged in this effort, uh, Brad Wojtek. Um, um, I know Erin uh, is involved in this area as well. As I speak to you, we are running two searches, one with communications and the other with the philosophy. In fact, we're about to make offers in communications. In last one year, we have recruited six faculty members. First year, six faculty members. I'm very proud to say that the faculty member chose to come to UCSD over some of the topmost competition at CMU and Berkeley and other places. And so, so in years to come, we don't know where this talent will go, and we can hardly guess the impact it will have. But we do know that the talent that is originating here, the first class will graduate this summer, 90 students. We have 635 undergraduate majors. Um, it will transform every single industry and organization, whether civil governance, whether it is uh, engineering industries or information technologies. I feel honored to work with talent such as Robert, Aaron, and in pulling these thought-provoking meetings together. We're very happy to support you. We look forward to, to this um, uh, two days. I will be here tomorrow as well. And uh, in the meantime, please enjoy your visit here. Come by sometimes to SDSI locations as well. Maybe you wanted to stay back, maybe you want to give a class, maybe you want to give a lecture. Um, you're always welcome. In the, in the meantime, welcome to San Diego. Thank you. <laughs>